forgot, sorry, before I, I forgot also what I brought or what I traveled along with was this chunk of money, this one. This what I this what I brought or I traveled with. This so this is merely uh three thousand US dollars, almost five hundred thousand Kenyan shillings. So, so ladies and gentlemen, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night from wherever you're watching from. This is Anoto in China, and uh, right now it's still my day one in China, and this is where I stay. Behind is a very beautiful and lovely, magnificent forest with natural birds, and it is mountainous. Maybe one day I will take you on a tour to that place. So I'm coming live from my apartment. In my, I'm standing. Uh, no, I'm, I've, I've stood. As I'm standing. Who says that? I've stood on the balcony and I'm enjoying this beautiful, beautiful view. It's a beautiful evening. I'm energized. I've slept super hard for like I think I can't count, but maybe 18 to 12 to 18 hours. And uh, right now I'm cooking a meal because I'm so hungry, hungry, hungry. Hey, that thing. And uh, this is my life in China. When I was away, this but these insects, these insects have been mounting themselves here. They have made a home out of this place. Guys, this is where I stay. You can see the ambience. Um, if you want to realize that it's winter, okay, first of all, it's winter here in Kenya. Kenya is like every day is every day, all season. Although when I left Kenya, it was rainy. But if you want to see that it is winter, most of the trees, they normally shed their leaves completely during winter. Like you can see like this one. This one, even uh, over there, there's a tree that has shaded uh, completely, completely. So this is, is just to show you. It is winter and it is very cold. And uh, right now, um, you can be wondering why is it cold and um, like this. Uh, I will be explaining that in a few. So once again, the beautiful view on the serene or on the horizon. This is beautiful. Birds, they can see an aeroplane. Probably it looks like Kenya Airways from afar. It looks like a Boeing. Maybe just a different color or a different country. So this is where I stay. And I promise you guys I will do a house tour very soon. For this one, here is a magical corner. Maybe there's no, it's not plugged. It's a magical corner here. Here's where I, I like to express myself. And uh, as I told you, it's winter, but I'm not wearing a sweater because inside the house, I have this beautiful, uh, this humongous heater. So this one is the one that tries and all that actually warms the house. So it keeps the whole house warm. I'll do a house tour for you guys sooner or later and uh, right now why also I'm not wearing a sweater is because I'm preparing a meal I'm preparing a meal and some potatoes and uh, I think I need to I need to turn it I need to turn it turn it Turn it so that it will not stay in one position for a long time. And maybe at this time I add some paprika. Not paprika, black pepper. Black pepper is the magic. Ah, so we turn again for the black pepper. Do this black magic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So I will tell you where I got the black paper. So guys, I want to show you something. So cooking some potatoes. The onions are here. And then let me bring this black paper with me because I want to add tell you guys something. At the same time I'm listening to some African music because it's that time I want to meditate and uh, plan ahead. So when I was coming from Kenya I did some shopping of some food stuff so I want to tell you or I want to show you the types of shopping I did when traveling to China what was accepted and what was not accepted. No, there's nothing that was not accepted. But I will tell you what brought some issues on the airport and uh, stuff like that. So when you are traveling to another country and uh, of course you need to carry along some food with you. At least you need to carry uh, some African food or food from the country that you are, uh, you are brought up in. Because right about now, the reason why I do, I did a lot of shopping, a lot of shopping because having been in China for merely eight months before going back to Kenya I realized that the food was not really good for my tongue or maybe I was not used to the Chinese food so uh, I said next time I'm going to Kenya and coming back to China I'll c carry along a lot of food stuffs with me so that at least for some few months merely maybe uh, three to six months I'll be having my own food or my own supply from Kenya, the motherland, 254. So uh, right about now, I did uh, some shopping and uh, um, when I was traveling basically with the China Southern Airlines or with any airlines, the minimum uh, amount of weight that you are allowed to travel with, uh, uh, usually uh, 23, 23 kgs. Let me show you the bag I was traveling. So, don't mind this room. It's very, very <laughs> cutted. So, I had this bag and this bag. So, this is my biggest bag. It's so big, almost the size of my waist. And this one. You can see they still have the sticker. Chan, China. They still have the sticker and KMG China. They still have the sticker of the China Southern Airlines. So this is the tag for you to easily trace your luggage. So those two uh, you need to travel 23 kgs, 23 kgs on both of the uh, both of the bags. Like uh, a suitcase like this. Like I'm sure my friend when you my friend also just came back from Kenya, so he has his tag here. <coughs> hey, the paper is doing its magic, so 23, 23 kg. So you are allowed to travel basically with around um, how many kgs? 46 kgs. 23, 23. And then carry on maybe 7 kgs. So almost, almost 50. Five, six kgs is the one that you qualify to travel with. So, what did I shop in Kenya, or what did I come along with in Kenya? First of all, on my last day, as I was walking on the streets, I had seen this muiko. This is the muiko, and in China, the thing that we used to cook ugali. So, muiko is used to cook ugali for my international viewers. So, in China. This is the muiko that we normally use, this one. It's not so strong. Sometimes it can break when we cook. I think I need to switch it. <coughs> this off. So, yeah, mm. A strain. So this is the muko that we use, or the, how do you call it in the cooking, okay, cooking. Okay. And put the onions, and the seeds. 
Most of the time when I'm in Kenya, I don't cook, I eat out. And now, because in Kenya we have, uh, what how do you call them? Call them Mama, Mama Kibanda, or Kibanda, the local uh, food parlors in Kenya. That's where uh, we buy food. But here in China, <laughs> the local food parlors are purely Chinese, no African restaurant around this place. Or maybe once in a while, I can go to an Indian restaurant or any Muslim restaurant so that at least I tried some biryani or some something that is close to home. So this is the cooking stick. This one is very, very strong. If you, you hit yourself with this, you can really get injured. So the first thing I bought was this cooking stick. The cooking stick from Kenya 254 to China, Mweko. I come from a tribe which people say we love ugali, so this is used to cook ugali. And uh, having said that, I also brought some um, maize flour. So as I was unpackaging one, one, one box of uh, or one such of maize flour uh, toward, uh, I was storing it in this bag. One maize flour. Uh, was torn and I had to pour some here. This one, the white color is the Chinese maize flour, but the Kenyan one is this one. I don't know if you can see the difference. So, um, this is the one that was torn. It's called a happy meal. So that one was torn and I had to pour this. Or maybe I should pour the red in here. Make the Chinese one to improve the taste. So I should pour like this. Nice love. Nuyan Unga. It's a Nuyan man to eat Unga. So this place was invented by the Mexicans or Portuguese. They were first born in Mexico, then Portugal. Something like that. Yeah, so this is now the Chinese unga. You can see two layers, Chinese unga and Kenyan unga. So I had how many of these? Four of them. These are still the unga or the maize flour. What I brought from Kenya to China. So I also bought this one, a maize premium sifted maize this one is there anything showing that it is made in kenya no made in kenya sign i can't see this signage where well, any information that leads to kenya Of course, the cabs. Cabs, ISO certified. Kenya Bureau of Halal Certification. So, halal also this for the Muslim. So, any Muslim can buy this and consume it. Halal. Kenya Bureau of Halal Certified. Manufactured by Capital Industries. This one is thicker Kenya of Garissa Road. So, this one is purely Kenya. And it's raining. It's winter. And it's raining heavily. Oh, even hailstorm. Look at that. Hailstorm. Hailstorm, man. And the sun is still there. And I can see the rainbow. Guys, on my first day, it is raining. This is magic. Means I'm headed for greatness. Hailstorm. All right. This time, we will grow. We'll achieve a million subscribers onwards. And million views, million views, and we'll get really good uh, uh, memories with you guys. So, raining hailstorm here in China. Oh my goodness! It gives me that welcoming feel. So, let me continue with my story. What did I bring from Kenya? What was accepted? What was not accepted? So, I brought the maize flour. So, I bought. I bought five of these, five, no, four of each, but uh, 
because of cages the cages uh, got uh, uh, surpassed the limit i brought only three so I, this this one mezfla and there is uh, this other mezfla this one is kafa kafagara rice kafagara no kafagara mezfla this one also is a kenyan product uh, this one is uh, made in Kenya from which company? Joy Millers, Kerugoya. This is Joy Millers. This one is from Kerugoya in Kenya. So the maize flour was top of the list. The other thing that I brought from Kenya was the uh, porridge, porridge flour. And I like this, the original Uji mix sour porridge. And this one is from which industry? Uh, this one is from I don't know the industry. Doesn't have what's up to this. Uh -huh. Unga Limited. Yeah. Unga Limited is a very, very big company in Kenya. My father once worked in the Unga Limited. So I brought this. Because while in China last time, I was uh, really craving for the local Uji or the fermented uji or the sour uji uh, but i couldn't find such such normally in china the type of uh, porridge that they have my friend likes it uh, this is the chinese the chinese is made from the yellow the yellow maize yellow maize and this is how they look like so i tried it last time but uh, it's not what i wanted so it comes in this sachets. So this one is ready, the Chinese one. You just put it in hot water and you stir and you are ready to go. Uh, this yellow porridge. Never taken yellow porridge in my life until I came to China. But I didn't like it. And the taste was not good for me. So that's why I decided to buy this Famila. Famila from Kenya. It's very, very sweet. Actually, yesterday when I arrived, I cooked some porridge. Uh, there are more. I bought five of them. Five of them. This is one, two, and then this one, three. And also my friend really enjoyed those. And then four and five. So, let me return this here. So you guys can see what I also got in Kenya. So, the Mwiko <coughs> oh man. Very good. Like this. So the muiko or the cooking stick, the uh, porridge flour, and I like this Camila sour porridge. We've been drinking it since we were young, but at home we make our local uh, fermented flour. And now the uh, the unga, the other unga. So that's what I brought in Kenya, from Kenya. And then I also have uh, this one. These are close-up. I bought this because they come in a pack of two. So I bought maybe was it three or four of them. I bought four of them. Since I bought four of them, yeah. So. This is what I bought. What else? Yeah, just that. So, because uh, in China, last time I bought a Chinese brand, but I noticed that the Chinese brand and this one have. This one is the original taste or the original flavor, but the Chinese one, I didn't like it because it's not like this. Or it was like watery, watery. This one is thick, thick, thick. So, I prefer so this one can take me for two months so one two three four five six seven eight so this one can take me for eight or even more ten months because i brush all the time so it's a toothpaste and i also brought some toothbrush four of them because the chinese toothbrush is very soft uh, this is one two i prefer this because it's hard and three 
and I'm using one. I removed one, so I'm using one. So I brought also toothbrush, as you can see here, toothbrush. What else did I bring? Uh, this I bought this Melvin's pure Kenyan tea because we love tea. Or some people normally say the lawyers love tea, so I brought tea bags. So, but this one is for my friend. Uh, this one is for my friend. This is a uh, lemon tea, and this one is uh, black tea. Lemon tea and black tea. Oh, and uh, more Colgate. So with this, with this, one, two, three, four, five, six. With this, this one can last me a whole year. This Colgate. And uh, for the toothbrush, uh, because I have two Chinese toothbrush, and this this can last me, because I normally use one toothbrush for three months, so this one can last me a whole year plus, or maybe uh, two years. So with this, I can can take me a whole year. And uh, of course, I bought this also. This are uh, to give to my Chinese friend. They need to be five pieces. Maybe I'll check in the bag. Normally, most of the Kenyans, when they are um, out here or in their country, they love to uh, wear this color of their flag. But for me, I don't like things on my hand. Uh, I just like the watch only. So these are three I'll give to my Chinese friends. Uh, I'll give them this. Yeah. There's still more in the bag. Yeah, Because it's good to be patriotic or to share the national love, to spread the national love from uh, China to Kenya and vice versa. So this will serve them good. I have several pieces. I had seven. So uh, these ones I'll give them uh, to my Chinese friends. So for my tea, I'm sorted. So also I have this lemon, lemon tea for myself. These are tea bags lemon tea and also I like ketepa these ones so these are 50 50 50 so this is 100 and then 25 so that means 25 so that's 125 and also I, I had a mixture of this from Melvin's so this one is 100 so this this one can take me 225 days. These tea bags, uh, and also I bought this from Tangawizi Tea. This is from Kericho, Kenya. This one can take me two months. So with this, with this, I can su comfortably survive with this tea for let's say one year. Or maybe one year and two months with this tea so my friend also brought another type of tea tea leaves this one from melvin's tangawizi chai melvin's tangawizi chai so tangawizi chai and also my tangawizi chai this is tangawizi chai <coughs> tangawizi is ginger 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 is this this is the tangawizi, this, this is the ginger. So tea leaves mixed with this. You know, my friend, I'm sorted for one year plus. And then also I brought other uh, things supplementing the tea. So I brought this drinking chocolate. This one can last me maybe a month or two. So you see my mileage for tea is really going up. So I can stay here for two years and I'm good. And then I bought uh, the Milo, the Milo, so these are the Milos, I bought several of them just to be supplementing my stay here in China, the Milos, uh, this one I'll be taking them once in a while when I need to change some flavor because I'm not really used to the Milo, so merely 10, 12 sachets, so the meal. And what else? I also brought some uh, Doman's coffee. 
the small sachets. Maybe sometime I'll be needing, but I'll be needed to stay up till late in the night. So I'll be taking some Doman's coffee. Uh, normally you can use full of it, but this one I can take it half half. Because when I drink coffee, I lose sleep completely. So I like to do them in small, small uh, portions. Now, uh, there's also one more. And uh, the Chinese milk, uh, my friend bought Chinese milk. So let me show you how the Chinese milk look, looks like. So this is the Chinese milk. New Nai. New Nai. New Nai is Chinese for milk. So this is the Chinese milk. This one. So and this one is really expensive. Maybe 35, 40 yuan. That's like 800 for the whole box. And this one is nearly 45 ml or what? 250 ml. Yeah, so, with the Chinese milk, I don't like it. I don't like the taste. So, so that's why I decided to buy the milk powder from Brookside Film. So, I bought this. So this one can take me for merely three months, this milk powder. And also it's advantageous because I don't take uh, uh, tea with milk uh, regularly, once in a while. So maybe yeah, this one I can stay with it for merely six months or even eight months. So the milk powder. Yeah. What else? Around the tea, so I also brought some uh, peanut butter from Blue Band. Uh, I wish I could carry four or five more of this, but I really don't know <laughs> where my mind was when I was buying. And also I bought Zesta. It's for jam for the bread. And today I bought these two pieces of bread. Two pieces of bread, these ones. This is what I bought from, no, this one I bought in China, in the bakery, in the previous video, those who watched saw it. And uh, what else? I also bought, um, now, spices, let's go to spices. Uh, I'm not a fan of this, Roiko, but now, uh, there's a friend of mine who invited me to this place here in China, and he cooks food, and he has placed some Roiko cubes. It was Chinese food, but with the Royco cubes, it had an improved taste. So with that, you can eat at least and enjoy the food. So I decided next time I'm going to Kenya, I'll come back with some Royco cubes. And uh, now I bought this type of Royco cubes. So I bought uh, this for beef flavor and also this for beef flavor. So how many pieces are these? Should be roughly 25 pieces or something like that. Yeah, should be 25 or so. And also, I brought this. I brought this. Uh, Roycom Choosy Mix is what I brought from Kenya, all the way from Kenya to China. And then, uh, more spices, I brought uh, Pilau Masala. Pilau masala, that's pilau masala, and then this is mixed spices, and then this is uh, paprika, and then this is black pepper, this one the best, and then this is pilau masala, and then another black pepper, black pepper. So with this, maybe it can, it can sustain me for six months or eight months with these spices. Uh, and also I brought this in case I cook pilau. So this one is for pilau masala. This one I used twice. Or maybe one I can use three times, three times, three times, nine times, and then it will be over. And also I brought this 
because we have this uh how do we call this oven yes. most of the time i like to roast my meat and this one is a uh, choma sauce those who have used this from the street food in kenya they know the choma sauce this one normally delicious so i brought the choma sauce i brought this soy sauce from zesta soy sauce and i brought this ketchup 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 from kenya Oh my goodness, only that these things were very heavy but they look very little but it's quite a lot. So this is what I brought from Kenya. Yeah, yeah. I bought 10 kgs of rice but the kgs, the limit was surpassed and also one uh, kg of unga of maize flour, the limit was surpassed. So basically this is what I've got the ogre, I've already poured it here, so with this, it can sustain me, this unga. <coughs> I'll do a, this one is a mixture of the Kenyan unga and the Chinese unga. I'll do a mix for this, i see how uh, it will be, and then I will uh, see if I can be buying the Chinese and mixing with the Kenyan so that to improve the Chinese taste. What else did I bring? Before I show you what I brought, this is my friend's uh, package from Naivas, Kenya. I had some rice. Last time I was living, uh, there's some rice, 10 kgs of rice. So uh, this one will sustain me for maybe one and a half months or so, or two months. So that's what I also brought from. No, this is from China. Now, before I dig into my friend, and also, I traveled with some money, although I won't share details about this money. There's some money, so... Uh, this time I didn't travel with Chinese yuan. I only traveled with the US dollars. So, when I was in the airport, um, a bigger chunk of the luggage in Kenya it was inspected then. Coming to Changsha... Is it Changsha or...? Yeah. Uh, the first airport, Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, there was not, you know, it was inspected, of course, and then in Changsha, it just went through. Then in Guangzhou, they asked me to, in Guangzhou, they asked me to open one of the luggage, the blue bag, and they said on this package, there was an item which had been highlighted, and they wanted me to prove or to tell them what was in this bag the Guangzhou Bayun International Airport. International. So this bag is for my friend, a female. Although I want to open some other um, things that are in this package, but I will only open this package. Sorry Ruth, I opened your package. Okay, this one also because I I was told to open it. But normally before somebody sends me uh, a package, I normally like inspecting it. So now it's not so bad because I also inspected. So also Ruth brought some Famila, Pure Wimby Porridge, Famila, Blue Band, with some tooth. So that's what my friend brought. And my friend is here. Hey. <laughs> um, <laughs> Hi, how are you? Good, good, good. Introduce yourself. Uh, my name is his friend. Uh -huh. <laughs> Karuno. Karuno. Yeah, yeah. Although most of my friend, most of the family members on this YouTube community might know you because by this time they might have watched your wedding. Ah, yeah, nice yeah. one, nice so one. I, I attended this <laughs> wedding in Kenya, and this is my you. day one, and I met him in Kenya. Yeah. And uh, here in. We are here together. We are here together. So, a brother. Thank when you. when the Chinese were giving me a roommate, they were not only giving me a roommate, they were giving me not only a friend but a brother. <laughs> so uh, yes, kudos Thank to you. you. Thank so you. right now I'm just doing a small video, telling the people of the things I brought from Kenya, what was allowed, uh, and I any see. challenges that I faced. So this wow. is what I brought from Kenya. So what did you bring from Kenya? Uh, I also brought so many things, but. Uh, mm -hmm brought many of these things for my friends mm -hmm. so 
most of these, mm -hmm. even these ones I brought, uh, not actually this one, but uh, these ones, mm -hmm. and, uh, even Royco, Royco cubes, mm -hmm. uh, what else, even the tea leaves. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I think most of what you have here I also brought. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, mostly for my friends who are here. Yeah. yeah. Maybe if I ask a question, mm. what, is, what is the item that most Kenyans uh, ask you to bring? Is it clothes? <laughs> yeah, not clothes. It, uh, because perfume? I think, uh, according to many Kenyans, yes. uh, there are so many clothes here. Yeah. So most of it is maybe uh, lotion, perfume mm -hmm. sometimes, mm -hmm. or some eateries like mm -hmm. uh, the Uji mix, mm -hmm. even the Royco cubes. Mm -hmm. Just some items which cannot be found here, like uh, Blue Band mm -hmm. and uh, what else? Yeah, actually. Uh, in essence, most of the things that are not available in China, yeah, uh, or maybe they are available but a high price, yeah. So it's better to get them from home. Yeah. So we can comfortably say that most of the things you are sent to are foodstuffs. Yeah, yeah bigger food percentage food Big, bigger percentage food foodstuffs. Oh, yeah, like so yeah. you can see for me, food, food, food. Yeah. Food is like. Uh, it means like 100%. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 true, yeah, true, yeah. True. yeah, makes yeah. sense. Makes and sense. my friend is wearing this. Yeah, it's very Tell cold us, outside. Is it winter or what? <laughs> why are you dressed like a Manchester United coach? Yeah, no, it's very cold. It's very cold outside. Yeah, you have this. <laughs> <laughs> and it's very thick and this is very <laughs> yeah, thick. Yeah, where yeah, did you yeah. get this one? No, I bought, I bought it from China. China? Yeah. Maybe because today I was freezing, I need to buy... Yeah, you can buy something like yeah. this. It's very, very warm. Yeah. And guys, today we were supposed to, he was supposed to take me to buy a laptop. Yeah. But I woke up at, let's say, 2 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> Kenyan time, it's okay. But Kenyan time was around 8, 9 o'clock. <laughs> but uh, now when I watch, I go to the phone, I see his message. Yeah. Bro, are you ready? We go at 1130. I was, I was deep, deep asleep. <laughs> Did you face the same challenge, the jet lag? Yeah, when I came back, I think I had like uh, two days to go back to the normal uh, routine mm -hmm. yeah, sl sleeping around maybe at 10 or 11 but mm -hmm. uh, initially maybe just around Kenyan time mm -hmm. when you convert it here maybe around 12 mm -hmm. 1 or 2 mm -hmm. yeah okay. so you get some sleep yeah, yeah so I think your mind is still or our minds are still remembering the Kenyan time oh, okay, yeah, okay. but right now I'm okay so you okay. take maybe two or three days to adapt two or three days yeah I think so maybe tomorrow you can go right yeah sure sure tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow we can go. And first of all, I must say congratulations oh. on your wedding. Thank you, thank you, so Mr. Much. Alex or Buana <laughs> Alex. Yeah, Mr. Yeah, Alex. Yeah, he's Alex. off the market. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> and he knows so many things. But first of all, I enjoyed your wedding. Mm. It was very tight. I like the traditional reception. Oh, nice. that was that was such yeah, nice. Was very, was nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Although um, going to the photo shoot, I, I sat on the pickup. Oh, but the oh, the <laughs> very, very fast. Hey, behind the pickup. It yeah, was yeah, very, yeah. But it was worth it because that's where the cameraman sits to the yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just joined them for the memory part. Nice one, nice one, nice Congratulations. Thank How you. does it feel to be uh, uh, finally married? Yeah, I think I maybe expected uh, a different kind of feeling. Uh -huh. I was thinking maybe I'll have a different kind of feeling altogether. Mm -hmm. But... Uh, it's almost just normal, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah. just having the confidence that you've passed, you've achieved something. Mm -hmm. so that's what I can say. Oh, okay. Yeah, at least there is uh, a part of your life that you've accomplished, mm -hmm. or some goals that you've accomplished. That's the joy. Mm -hmm. But uh, on whether my previous or I think it's just almost the same. Almost the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But uh, <laughs> there's no preemptive that I want to have a conversation after the video has premiered. Oh, okay, okay. And then we'll talk about everything. Sure, sure, yeah. sure. Did you face any challenge when you were traveling with the foodstuffs from Kenya to China? No, I think because my my cages were okay, mm -hmm. so nobody ever opened my yeah. bags okay, uh, okay. right from Kenya to, to China. Oh, okay, okay. To Kunmi. Yeah. yeah, nobody ever opened my bags, mm -hmm. uh, except for the carry-on, but the other luggage, mm -hmm. no. Oh, okay. For me, I had only one challenge. You know, like I was telling you yesterday, yeah. that is for Ruth. So they told me in in Kunming, they told me to open this. So 
uh, of course, before I travel in and somebody has given me a package, I like to counter check to know mm -hmm. the contents. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Yeah, so this is the package that was highlighting green. <laughs> so when I was coming from, let me as I open, when I was coming in Pulmi, they stopped me and took me to a small office and where there are scanners and everything. So they told me to open. So when I opened this, this was the contents of the. This was the contents of the <laughs> of this package. This one. We are bringing minerals. So, uh, so, 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 so the Chinese were asking, "What is this? What is this?" Then I told them, "This one is for eating." They say, "You eat rocks?" <laughs> I say, "Yeah, yeah, we eat rocks, but this one is for women. Pregnant women in Kenya, they eat these uh, rocks. It's called mineral rocks. Yeah, it's yeah. like a mineral supplement. This one." They said, "All of this." In stomach, <laughs> all of this go to the stomach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This all of this will go to the stomach of a woman. Yeah. So they say, are, are you sure? Yes. So for me, I was like seeing maybe it will bring more trouble. Or maybe I'll be held there for so many hours. Mm. So I decided to show them how we do it. Mm. So I actually had to eat it. Mm. I had, I ate and swallowed. <laughs> I might. What my friends make me go through. <laughs> <laughs> so when I ate and I swallowed, they really laughed so hard. Wow. Hey, what? <laughs> For like five, ten minutes, they were laughing at me. Mm. Even though I was on a walkie-talkie, mm. the one who was coordinating in the office, they was laughing very hard. <laughs> yeah, so after I ate this, yeah. I ate stones at the airport. Maybe this will be the title of this. <laughs> and you know, for like um, 12 hours, I had not eaten mm. because of the layover and stuff. Yeah. And then the first meal I'm eating is the rock. <laughs> yeah, so th this is the only challenge. So after that, they say, "Oh, if it's true, yeah, um, it's okay. No, sorry, sorry, it's okay. Go, go, go." <laughs> nice. So uh, this is the only challenge that. Uh, yeah, so yeah. next time you are traveling, <laughs> don't yeah. bring rocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. and I wanted to bring the rock for how do you call it? You are Oh, the rock for the rock scrubbing the. Rock for scrubbing. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, that one is, is there a problem? Uh, I don't know. Maybe it could have been more challenging because that yeah. one you can't prove that it is nothing. Yeah. Yeah. So I think it might be hard for you to prove it that it's nothing. Not unless maybe they take a sample and then measure and uh, yeah. come out with results. So it's okay, just any kind of stuff. Because they might think you are moving natural resources yeah, from yeah. one country to sure, another. Sure, 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 that was sure. like wildlife trafficking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. not. Uh, so, so yeah. I think that's a crazy. Part. Yeah. yeah. So that's the main main challenge. But apart from that, every other thing is everything. Okay. So, yeah. what will be most useful for us now here? I would say everything. Everything. Yeah, everything. Yeah. Will be useful. Yeah, this is for us, not for me. <laughs> for us, <laughs> yeah, I yeah, must yeah, insist. Sure. Yeah. So yeah, feel free. Yeah, this this will be very useful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. So, Alex is a very good storyteller. <laughs> and, uh, tell us what's your plan for your travel experiences and uh, your stories in china yes yeah so maybe we'll sit down and uh, do that more later mm -hmm. yeah but um, for now maybe just work work yeah but normally but, uh, you travel uh, <laughs> on the weekend yeah maybe just around uh, kunming mm -hmm. maybe i'll share you more experiences later where will you be sharing uh here where uh, on YouTube or uh, no, we can just maybe uh, look for time. We sit down and we share uh, those details of okay. travel. Oh, so you want to start a YouTube channel? No, 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 not mine. Uh -huh. But uh, we could like have a conversation the way oh. you are uh, doing. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, sure, sure. Anyway, he knows so many places. So <laughs> anytime yeah. you are going somewhere, tell me in advance and we will go. Ah, true. That's yeah. Right. And me, and my camera will be on all the time. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Now that I have this camera, this one is more flexible. Yeah. Okay. So All thank right, you so much. Look for for dinner. Dinner and then yeah. yeah I've thank cooked you. some potatoes and oh, rice. Yes, we, we can. We'll we'll eat it later. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll eat okay. Fast. okay. So right, thank you. Bye bye. bye. <laughs> okay. So that was Alex. And, uh, this is just to sum up with what I brought from the airport. This is it. So a brief peep through. This, 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 and this, and this, and this, this, and finally, the rocks that I was forced to eat, and they are sweet. Yeah. 
They are very sweet. Mm. I'm thinking of borrowing one. <laughs> they are very sweet. This was the pregnant ladies eat in Kenya. There's a place called Mount Elgon in Kenya. In the cave, there's somewhere which the elephants uh, go to lick this uh, type of rock. They lick when they are pregnant or when they are almost mating. So it makes them ovulate and uh, good for their hormonal balance so that when they give birth to the young ones, they will eat or they will be very, very healthy. This is just a mineral supplement. Maybe it contains some calcium, potassium and stuff like that or manganese or stuff like that, so that's it. So that was just to show you what I brought from Kenya to China and the challenge I had, especially with these mineral rocks. Yeah, but uh, eventually they were accepted. So let's create more memories in China. Let's experience the life of a black person through my channel in China. This is an auto in China. Chakashi, Anoto, Sai, Jongo. So see you in the next one. Bye-bye. I forgot, sorry, before I, I forgot also what I brought or what I traveled along with was this chunk of money, this one. This what I this what I brought or I traveled with. This so this is merely uh three thousand US dollars, almost five hundred thousand Kenyan shillings. So this is what I also travel with. So not quite a lot, but yeah, this this is what I travel with. And normally when you travel, they only allow you to travel with the maybe a limit of ten thousand US dollars. So with this three thousand US dollars is good. And uh, maybe if you are a traveler and uh, you want to save more money and maybe you have issues with the bank it's good to travel with us dollars when you travel with us dollars um, it has more value when you arrive to another country so with this us dollars you can actually come change it and get more money to survive and to source to finance your travel experiences so if you are a travel vlogger this is a life hack go to the bank and change some dollars and have some dollars with you uh, so these ones will be very very will come in handy when you are moving around it's not a lot but it's a lot actually if you convert to kenyan this is like five hundred thousand kenyan skills so for you to travel with some dollars with you or maybe you want but with this just a small package and with this you can survive in China for the next like uh, how many months? Maybe six months. I can survive with this for the next six, even one year. I can survive with this small chunk of money. So that's also the package or the part that I was missing. So that is from this, the dollar, the rocks, and this and this and this. This is what I travel with. So. This is an auto in China. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.